Then I'll see a little beast. Beastie. See a little beast. Okay, so obviously today the star of the show is. Today the star of the show is Boxy Charm. Um, I subscribe to Boxy. Uh, I subscribed to Boxy Charm, I believe, like about a year ago. And I do not regret it at all. You are honestly paying $21 a month for things that cost a good $50. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So, I haven't even opened my box. So, I'm going to open it right now. Look, I'm not lying. I just, I know one thing that's in the box. Anyway, so the first thing that I see is this little card that comes with it. This month's um, theme is vacation. Ooh! The next thing that I see is from Butter, Lon from Butter London and it's 25% off. Um, I'll put the code right here just so that you guys can use it if you guys are interested in that brand. Um, you do not have to have a boxy charm to use this code. The next thing that I see is from the same brand, Butter London, and is oh, it's mascara. This is what it looks like. Cool. Ooh. The next thing that I see is from Pretty Vulgar. And it is called Make Them Blush. It's a very pretty blush. This is how it looks. Very, very pretty. Blush retails for $26. The mascara, the mascara is $20. So that's a lot of dollars, but I'm only paying $21 a month. So it's very worth it. Okay, now, ooh, my favorite. Now is the South Main Three Eye Gel Packs. It says it reduces puffiness, reduces dark circles, and moisturizes eye area. This retails for $10. Then we have a pair of brushes. This is so cute. Oh my god, I keep saying this is so cute to like every product that I'm getting. But it's from the Vintage Cosmetics Company, and it's the Smoky Eye Brush Set. And last but not least, with the star of the show, is this eyeshadow palette. Basically, Boxy Charm with Pure Cosmetics. So they got together to make this beautiful palette, which I do think is very beautiful. This retails for $36. Okay, so to start off, I'm gonna be using the eye, um, the under eye moisturizing pads. It comes with three, so might as well just use one for the sake of this video. Okay, so now that I have these eye patches on, it says to leave on for 30 minutes, so I'm just gonna start doing my um, eyeshadow. Up close and personal. You're going to start off by priming your eyes. I use this great, amazing shape tape that I have. Okay, now, going in with the brush set that came in my boxy charm, I'm going to be setting my eyes if I can get it open. So I'm gonna use the step one for the money brush. It it looks like a flat brush. Is that what it's called? I don't know. I'm gonna be going with the shade perfect. So I'm gonna be using as a base for my eyeshadow. I'm gonna be using this lipstick that came in one of my boxy charms. I do believe it came in one of my boxy charms because I did not purchase this. So um, it's the ColourPop Times Hello Kitty. It is the ultra satin look in Lock Diary. And you want to make sure you just put it under the crease. 
because you don't want this color to be very like overpowered. There is no rules to how you do your makeup. Then you're gonna look like this. Then I'm gonna go in with that same brush that I just used. And I'm just gonna buff that all in. I don't like this brush. I don't like this brush. Don't like this brush. Okay, we're just gonna go in with a blending brush and we're gonna be using the color Nike. I'm gonna be using the step two of the boxy charm, and you wanna apply the color BFF. You wanna pat it on your lid to set that um, that lipstick that we just put. The reason that I put a lipstick under this shadow was because. Sometimes the actual color of the shadow does not come out the way that you want it to so you just have to put something under it and that is just an easier way of using something instead of actually going out to buy a specific product or whatever the case is. This is like going down. Okay, so after you have patted that color on your lid you've done that you want to make sure you go back in with the color Nike and blend that all out now you are going to want to go in with the blush that came with the palette I mean the blush that came in the boxy charm because that is just going to give you a nicer transitioning of the colors. We're just gonna use that as a transition. So now I'm gonna be taking these things off. Honestly, they do feel very refreshed and they do look deep up so that is the key here that they need to work for what they say they do so anyway we're just gonna spritz our face with this Maya Badescu just applying some of that primer all over my face well today we're gonna be using the wet and wild photo focus foundation this foundation honestly smells a little bit like paint, but I actually like it. It's pretty cheap. Okay, now we're going to bake our face using the Maybelline Fit Me powder. It looks like this. Okay, little trick. I know I look crazy right now, but a little trick, if you do get smile lines, all you have to do is blow your fish up. <laughs> blow your face up like a fish, like this. You're gonna wanna set first with a normal, like without the powder. You're gonna wanna blend that out without the powder and then stay like that and then just apply the powder on top. It will make your smile lines go away. You want to talk? And then you set. And you're good to go. 
we are going to be using that brush that I said that I did not like at the beginning to just um, smoke out the bottom lash. We're going to go in with Nakey again. Take all this out. Use this brush. After you've blended all of that out, you're going to want to go in with the number, I mean step three, which is you go girl. I think that's what it's called, and you're gonna go in with the color BFF. Okay, so after you have blended that out, you are going to want to go in with, with a black liner. I did get this one in my last boxy charm. That is why I'm using it right now. And you're going to want to line. We are going to fill in our eyebrows a little bit. Well, obviously the usual Anastasia. I don't really use anything else for my eyebrows. I, I just, I think, I don't know. I have not given other products a chance. But it's because whenever I go to a friend's house or whatever, I usually do give other products chances and none of them just work as good as this one. So I don't know if it's personal preference. I don't know if other people feel like that. But definitely I do. So we are just going in with the mascara that came with the BoxyCharm. Whoa. It kind of has like a book. And I gotta tone down this face a little bit. It's a little bit too white. So we're just gonna bronze it up a little bit with the hula bronzer. If we could use this blush, if it's not too intense, if it is, I'm gonna have to take it out. But the one that came with the boxy charm. Uh, Sure, why not? So we're just going to apply our lashes just like that. Just so they look a little bit more dramatic because I don't know what's wrong with these lashes. I do not like them. But they're the only ones that I had. So I do like to contour my nose because I have a feeling that my nose is humongous. And we're just going to go in with Moonstone from the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Glow Kit. Okay, we need more. I'm going to put on another brush because I just I feel like those brushes just weren't doing it for me I don't know why but they just weren't doing it for me Then we're just gonna go in um, with the I Love Sarai Times Color Pop. I love this lipstick. Like, I don't know why I love it so much. But yeah. I should put some of the cover effects thing on. Look at that. On my lips, on top of the lipstick that I put on, I just used the Cover FX Shimmer Veil and I just dabbed it in the middle of my lips. 
so anyway with that being said we're just gonna set our face and we are finished so this is the final look thank you guys so so much for watching if you guys did enjoy watching this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe for more videos coming up see you guys later